back to my channel my name is Benjamin in today's video I will be painting a horse so if you want to see how to paint a horse I suggest you stay to the end of the video if you're new to the channel please make sure to press the subscribe button if you are not new to the channel thank you for sticking around and watching another video hi voiceover Ben here first time trying out voiceovers so please bear with my wonky voice. Just one thing I want to get out of the way before I go on. Let me know if you prefer I do voiceovers in my videos or not in the comment section below. Here I am putting down the background so I could get the real tone, like to set up the base for the painting. And at this point I am putting in the outlines of the horse and adding in the darker parts of the shades. Because if the outlines are not dark enough, the overall tone is going to be bad. So I really want to get the dark tone to put everything in place and make a good base for the paint. I think this is the most important stage other than getting the proportions of the horse right. I'm sure there are tons of videos on YouTube on getting horse proportions right. I will be leaving links to some of them in the description below if you want to check them out. I know it might not look like it, but I painted this with acrylics. The trick is, I use my acrylics like watercolor. This is so I could beat up the layers and correct mistakes in the painting process. Since I'm done putting down the outlines, it is time to start filling in the base color of the horse.
so sorry that I kept touching the paint to my finger. This painting took me about five hours to make because I made it. I made it um, three hours the previous day, then I got it in the next day and finished up the painting. I didn't paint the background of this video of this horse because I didn't know if I should paint it or not and that's a really big challenge it's a really big challenge because sometimes as an artist you don't know if you should paint the background or not paint the background because I was afraid that if I paint the background then I'm gonna spoil the painting I know it's it's kind of messed up but it kind of makes sense have you ever been in that situation because it happens to me a lot like i could finish a drawing and i'm like should i paint the background because i don't know what color i don't know what color would be good for the background and that's something i am kind of working on There's no ultimate tip that will just make you paint a horse overnight. There's no way of knowing if the painting is gonna turn out well. So you just have to be patient with it and really take time. So being patient with the painting helps you observe the mistakes and helps you fix them while they're happening. You just have to be observant and patient and just follow things the way they should be.
So once you're done with building up the colors, which includes the lights and the shadows, finally add details to the horse. Be careful not to add details everywhere, only to places you want the viewer's eye to be attracted to, like the nose of the horse or the eye of the horse, or if you want the viewer to be attracted to the hair, you could add details to the hair that draws the viewer's attention into the hair, but I prefer adding details to the eye, that way the viewer gets attracted to the eye of the horse. If you've watched to this part of the video, if you've watched to this part of the video and you must have noticed I didn't paint the eye of the horse, that's because I will be painting the eye of a horse in the next video. So turn on post notifications if you want to check out the next video when I release it. This is the third video on this channel, so I suggest you check out the previous two videos if you haven't checked them out just leave a comment on what you think about this video in the comment section below check out the description for the link to my instagram page thanks for watching the video i will definitely see you in the next one